the offensive line is the most important unit on this football team. Panay Sewell, by the end of the year, could be this team's best player. DeAndre Swift, this season, could very well lead the NFC in scrimmage yards. Amon Ross St. Brown is the best and most proven skill position player on this team. Top five Detroit Lions heading into the season. I had fun with this list. Uh, I thought long, long and hard about it last night. Uh, a lot of it are defensive and offensive linemen. Uh, it's quite interesting. There's only two skill position players on the list. Uh, obviously, Amon Ross St. Brown and DeAndre Swift, like you'd expect. Uh, where Jared Goff lands on this list, if he's even there. He's uh, engaged now. He is he engaged. Is. Congratulations, yeah. by the way. Congratulations, Jared. Yeah, Congratulations, Jared. Jared Goff. I can offer my congrats every once in a while. Just no happy birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's start with number five. My five most important Detroit Lions heading into the season. Number five, we are going to start with Panay Sewell. Panay Sewell, uh, I think by the end of the year, could be this team's best player. Panay Sewell, by the end of the year, I think would have likely made a considerable bid to be an all-pro tackle. I think he's going to take a hell of a leap forward as a player, as an individual, going into this season. Uh, this is year two for him. I think he's a gold jacket guy. I know Le Neil on Big D Energy loves to say that a ton. I do agree with him. I think he is absolutely a gold jacket type player. Uh, he's only getting stronger. He's only getting more experienced. And sometimes in life, guys, uh, slower is smoother, smoother is faster, right? So you don't have to go 100%. You don't have to rely just on your strength, your raw natural ability. You can actually learn and understand the game and technique, and he will only get better with time. So I'm super, super excited for that. Number four on the list, a player that I would love to see be in the top two, <laughs> top three at the end of the year. Uh, I doubt it, and that's Jared Goff. Uh, Jared Goff is their is a top five player on this team. He's the quarterback. You can't go to any team unless they absolutely suck and find a quarterback not in the top five. Goff, I sh could have made the case he should be at five and you can put Penesul over him, but I think Goff, to be honest with all of you, is going to have a better season than most of you expect. I expect somewhere along the lines of 4,000, maybe 4,100 yards, 25, 26 touchdowns, if he is the Jared Goff we've seen over the last few years, 11, 12 interceptions, probably 13. If Goff has a better year than what we're accustomed to, and Ben Johnson really does a lot of good work with him, well, then I'd say 9, 10 interceptions, which would be pretty damn solid. So, of course, Jared Goff, number four. Again, the quarterback position, the most important position in football. Goff is going to dictate whether or not the Lions have a good season or not. They are not experienced, excuse me, experienced enough yet. And their young talent isn't in their prime yet to, to compensate for average quarterback play. Now, coaching may be able to do that, but we'll have to wait and see. Season hasn't started yet. Number three. This is an interesting one. Uh, again, the, the, their five best players, the most important players heading into the season. You're going to leave players you don't want to leave off. But you know what? Honest to God, Frank Ragnow, I think, is going to be very important this season. His health uh, will matter. Uh, he's a top three center in the game. This is a top three offensive line in the game. And I think you're catching the trend here. The offensive line is the most important unit on this football team. And that unit including Frank Ragnow, is going to be the unit that will dictate a lot, a lot, a lot of Jared Goff's success. So, yes, uh, do I think Jared Goff is an MVP candidate this year? No, I think whoever says that is ridiculous. Again, take away the extreme, which is the highest data point, and the lowest extreme, and just go, go average out the middle. And what do you get with Jared Goff? Roughly 39 to 4,100 yards, 22 to 26 interceptions, 11 to 13 interceptions. Did I say interceptions the first time I met touchdowns? And then 11 to 13 interceptions, excuse me. Ragnar is going to be a big, big addition to this team, considering he was injured for a majority of last season. Number So the top two, 
by the way, this was difficult because I think you all know who number one is. He was the most proven player last year. He produced at an elite level down the stretch. Uh, I'm not going to say his name. You, you already know who the hell I'm talking about. I really wanted to include Taylor Decker on this top five, but I didn't want to have three offensive linemen on my list either. That doesn't mean they weren't deserving. And if I were to have a six and seven, Decker would be probably six. Having said that, I think the most important piece and a top five player heading into the season, and it's not just on skill or ability, it's also impact. How much impact can you make? And I really want to have uh, this guy higher uh, than two, but he hasn't proven it yet, and that's DeAndre Swift. DeAndre Swift this season could very well lead the NFC in scrimmage yards. I know people make fun of Sa Flannel Sam all the time. I agree with him. What's your leading rusher in the NFC going to be? 1,100? 12, 1,220? Maybe 1,250? DeAndre Swift should be able to run for over 1,000 yards if he's healthy the whole season. And when I say should, I mean he better damn with that offensive line. And then, of course, he's a threat out of the backfield catching the ball. So, yes, DeAndre Swift, I think the second most important player on this, uh, on this Detroit Lions team going into the season. Me, personally, it's tough for me not to have a quarterback in my top two for any team. But with this team, it's such a different situation, right? Josh Allen, obviously number one on the uh, the Buffalo Bills. Herbert won on the Chargers. Burrow won on the Bengals. Mahomes won on the Chiefs. Uh, you go to a team like Miami, for example, well, probably Tyree Kill, and then Tua. So even then, an average quarterback is making your top two there. Not the case in Detroit. I think the offensive linemen are so important. We've already gone over Jared Goff. Now DeAndre Swift, who's going to be an X-Factor impact player this year. Or, excuse me, he has the potential to be. I think he must if the Lions want to find success this season. He's your second most important player. And then, of course, uh, I think the easy decision. The easy decision is, call it what it is, Amon Ross St. Brown is the best and most proven skill position player on this team. Notice TJ Hawkinson's not on this list. Notice Taylor Decker is not on this list. Aiden Hutchinson, even though he's a rookie, is not on this list. None of your pass rushers, nobody on the defensive side of the ball. Your team is built on offense. You have a top three offensive line, Detroit. You have a deep backfield that will serve you very well over the course of a season. You have a quarterback who, let's just call it what it is. Jer Sean McVay did lose faith and trust with Jared Goff. Not all of Jared Goff's problems. And I'm not going to sit here and sympathize and defend Jared Goff because the Rams made the absolute correct decision by trading for Matthew Stafford. They just won a Super Bowl. They reached a level they believed they could not reach with Jared Goff. What's the problem here? No problem. That does not mean Jared Goff doesn't belong in the NFL. Now, does he belong to the bottom tier quarterbacks or mid-tier? I believe he's a mid-tier quarterback. I do think he's better than average. I think in a good game, he can put up numbers that you see from some of the top eight, top ten quarterbacks. But I don't think he's that consistently over a whole course of a season. But this guy is going to be the reason why. I'm on Ross St. Brown. I believe should lead the team in targets. I believe should lead the team in receptions. Should lead the team in yards. Should lead the team in even touchdowns. Yes, Hawkinson, red zone threat. DJ Chark, red zone threat. You can run the ball in the red zone if you want with this team. Sure. Nobody was more impactful in the final eight games of the season than Amon Ross St. Brown. And Jared Goff, I believe, has never been in a better situation offensively than I would say year three under Sean McVay. Year four was a disaster. Not to Sean McVay's fault, but if you notice, the Rams started to not be able to do what they wanted to do. With that protected Jared Goff, by the way. The Rams weren't a good running football team. Even last year, they won the Super Bowl. Sony Michelle and that offensive line was not some, oh my goodness, uh, the, the Rams could really run the football here. Play action, misdirection like Sean McVay early on. It had nothing to do with that. This was Sean McVay realizing he had to evolutionize even his play calling, his game plan. And he knew he didn't have a quarterback that he could do it with. 
That's no problem. That doesn't mean you can't win games with Jared Goff. That doesn't mean Jared Goff won't be a fantastic quarterback for you this year. That also doesn't mean he won't be a bad quarterback, right? He has the ability to play very well and very bad. And that's why he's a mid-tier quarterback and not one of the best in the league. Consistency is everything. So, I'm on Ross St. Brown. I believe the most important player on this football team going into the year. The best player going on into, uh, excuse me, the best player on this team going into the year. And he's proven it, right? Because if we're just going on talent, if this is my top five most talented Detroit Lions, you could arguably put DeAndre Swift at number one. You could arguably put Aiden Hutchinson at two. Or actually, ooh, that's a tricky one now. So if we did top five most talented, we're looking at Sewell one, Swift two, Hutchinson three, St. Brown four. Oh God, that's a tough list now. Wow. That's a good thing. That's a good problem to have, Detroit. That's a good problem to have.